In part one of salary sheet creation, we saw how to calculate employee salary in Excel, including all the components like TA, DA, HRA, PF, medical, and many more. Today, we will be creating employee salary slip in MS Word with the help of last Excel data. If you haven't saw the first part, you can find the video on my channel. Anyways, I'll be dropping the link in the description box. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. This is the salary slip which I have already created in advance. I have created this salary slip for 15 employees. I have taken components like employee ID, designation, department, pending leaves, PF number, basic salary, salary for days, means salary will be paid for how many days, overtime hours, gross salary, overtime salary and so on. We will be creating these bulk salary sheets or salary slips with the help of Excel sheet which we have already created in our last video. So let's start creating new sheets. We will open a new word file. We will go in insert and we will select a shape from here. We will insert the shape and we will resize it as per our requirement. Here we will right click the mouse and we will do add text. Over here we will be giving the heading. Now we will click outside the box. Then we will click on the box and we will increase the font size. We will change the font style. We will insert our logo over here. We will go in insert picture from the file. We will select our logo insert. We will right click on the logo wrap text in front of text and we will reposition it. We will resize. So our logo is inserted over here. Now we will go in layout and we will go in margins. We will select narrow. We will resize it and reposition it. Now we will right click over here and we will type employee name, salary for the month of, work location. Now we will come down and we will go in insert. We will insert a table. We will select two from here and four from down. Here we will type employee ID, designation, department, pending leaves. We will give semicolon over here. Over here we will put PF number, UAN number, ESIC or medical number, PAN number or ID number. Now we will come down, we will go in insert and we will insert one more table over here. We will take four from here and till here we will select the table. We will give some more space over here. Over here we will type pay and allowance, amount, rupees, deductions. We will copy this and we will paste over here. We will select all and we will take in center. We will do it bold. We will select the whole sheet and we will change the font style. I'll do it times new Roman. I'll take it little bit down. Basic salary. Salary for in bracket we will type days. Overtime salary. Gross salary. HRA. TA. We will insert few more tables. We will right click the mouse and we will go in insert rows below. We will insert couple of more rows. And over here we will type other allowance. You can insert other components as per your requirement. Now we will come in deductions, PF, ESIC, medical, TDS, professional tax. Over here we will type total deductions. We will come down, we will give some space and we will insert one more table over here. We will insert a single table, we will give space and we will type net pay or net salary semicolon and in words means salary in words. We will come down and we will type this is a system generated salary slip or document and no digital or manual signature is required. If you want to insert your signature, you can. I'll show you how to insert signature over here. We will select our file. We will go in insert picture, picture from file. I have inserted my signature over here. We will right click on the signature, wrap text in front of text and we will resize it. We will type signature over here. We will insert a line. So my signature is inserted. If we want to insert the date, we can. So I have inserted the date over here. The format of our salary sheet is ready now. Now we will be going to the Excel file which we had created in our last video. This is the salary sheet which we had created in our last video. We will copy this and we will insert in a new tab or new sheet. We will paste it. We will rename the sheet salary slip data. Now we will select the whole sheet and we will click on merge. We want to remove all the merge cells which we had 
merged last time. So we will select the sheet. We will click over here and all the merged things got removed. We will delete this. Now we will select the whole sheet once again. Control C or Command C. We will right click the mouse and we will paste special. We will paste the values because we want to remove all the formulas. We will delete this. We will delete this also. Take this and we will paste it over here. We will delete this. Control X, Control V or Command X, Command V. Now we will delete these cells. We will delete this also. Now we will be removing all the drop downs. We will select all we will go in data data validation and from here we will clear all okay so our drop down is removed we will check where all we have inserted drop downs now we will come in right side and over here we will take salary in words pf number esic number we will insert pf number over here esic number over here now we will be inserting the formula for salary in words. We will not be able to insert the formula directly. If I try to insert the formula, the formula will not be visible over here. The formula is spell number bracket open and we will select our salary in hand. We will do enter and you will notice that the formula is not working. We will be going in developer tab. From here, we will be going in visual basics. We will go in insert module and we will insert a code over here. I'll provide link of the code in description box. You will have to copy and paste it over here. You can get this code on internet very easily. Now I'll copy the code. This is the code. We will copy all and we will paste it over here. Now we will click on this icon or we will be going to our Excel sheet and we will insert the formula once again. I'll delete this plus spell and you will notice that the formula is visible over here now. Spell number bracket open we will select salary in hand bracket close and we will do enter so we got the numbers in words we will drag this till end we will save it to continue saving as macros free workbook click yes so we will click yes over here so this sheet is saved and the name of this sheet is salary slip data now we will be going in our word file we will enlarge it now we have to go in mailing means mailing tab over here we will click in select recipients use an existing list this is the excel sheet we will select it and we will click on open yes and over here from the drop down we will select salary slip data we will do ok we will close this we will come in insert merge field and over here we will find all the details of the employees we have to insert employees name we will click over here and we will click on name we will close this salary for the month of so we will insert it manually November 2022 work location we will insert manually employee ID we will click over here in insert merge field employee ID designation department we haven't inserted column of department in our excel sheet if you want to keep department in your salary sheet you will have to insert a column over there so we will leave it blank pending leaves we will leave it blank pf number we will click over here and we will select pf number UN number, we haven't selected anything, ESIC or medical number, ESIC, PAN number, we haven't inserted column over there so we will leave it blank, basic salary, we will select from here, salary for days, we will select attendance over here, overtime salary, gross salary and in the same way we will select and insert all the things. Total deductions. We haven't calculated total deductions in our Excel sheet. So we will be going in our Excel sheet once again. We will insert a column over here. We will count our total deductions plus PF plus ESIC plus professional tax and we will do enter. We will drag this till end. Now we will save it. We will be going in our word file once again. Select recipients. Use an existing list. We will select salary sheet once again. Open yes from here we will select salary slip data okay so now updated sheet will be visible over here total deductions we will click over here net pay we will be going over here and we will select our net pay means salary in hand in words salary in words so these things are updated now now we will view it we will click over here 
preview results. So this is the salary slip for one employee. We will go in our Excel sheet and we will check that whatever we have inserted is proper or not. I have taken both the sheets in one page. So this salary slip is for Barry and salary of Barry is 65966. Over here also 65966. We will check salary of Bennett. We will come over here and we will go in the end. This is salary slip of Bennett and salary of Bennett is 11973. And over here also in the Excel sheet, the data is same, means salary is same. So this thing is created very properly now. Now we will come over here in the end, finish and merge option. We will click on the drop down and we will click on edit individual documents. And you will notice that all the salary sheets are getting created. All the salary sheets are ready now. I will show you. We will come down and see all the salary sheets are created very properly. We will convert this word file in PDF. We will be coming in the file option. Save as salary slips. November 2022. And from here we will select PDF. Best for printing. Export. Now we will check our PDF file. So this is the PDF file which we have created right now. We will come down and we will check. We will change the view and we will do it single page. So all the salary slips are created very nicely. If you want to create salary slip for more employees, you will have to follow the same technique or same tricks. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic till then. Bye-bye.